Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to discuss the figure it out questions of 3.7 clock and calendar numbers given on page number 64 and 65. Question number 1. Pratibha uses the digits 4, 7, 3 and 2 and makes the smallest and largest 4 digit numbers with them. So these digits are used and she makes the smallest and largest 4 digit numbers. 2347 is the smallest number and 7432 is the largest number. The difference between these two numbers is 5085 that is 7432 minus 2347 is equal to 5085. The sum of these two numbers is 9779. That means when we add these two numbers we get 9779. Choose 4 digits to make. Now we need to choose 4 digits to make the difference between the largest and smallest number greater than 5085. So we need 4 digits so that we can make the largest number and the smallest number and when we subtract we should get a number greater than 5085. So it's a 4 digit number that means 1, 10, 100, 1000. Four places are there. First I will choose this place, thousands place. If I take 7 and 1, okay, 7 minus 1 is 6 and that is greater than 5. So first I will choose this and then I will fill up these numbers, say 4, 3. So the largest number is 7, 4, 3, 1. Smallest number, write in reverse order, so 1, 3, 4, 7. Difference means subtract. So we are going to subtract this and when we subtract we get 11 minus 7 is 4. So this is 2. Cancel here 12, 3. 12 minus 4, 8. 3 minus 3, 0. 7 minus 1, 6. 6084 is greater than 5085, right? So the required digits are 7, 4, 3, 1. 7, 4, 3, 1. That was part A. Let's do part B now. The difference between the largest and smallest numbers should be less than 5085. So again same way I will choose the thousand digits first. So I will make 8, 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. Then I will write this digit here and make a 4 digit number. So let's say I make it 8, 7, 5, 4. So the largest number is 8754. Smallest number would be 4, 5, 7, 8. Subtract 4, 14. 14 minus 8 is 6. 6, 14, 7, 1, 4. See we are getting 4176 and 4176 is less than 5085, right? So the digits are 8754. See, the sum of the largest and smallest numbers greater than 9779. So now we need two numbers when we add the sum should be greater than 9779. Again I will fill up the thousands digit first. So I will write here 7 and 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. Okay. And then I will fill up the rest of it. So this is 2 smallest digit that goes here. And then I write 5, 4. 7542. So the smallest number form would be 2, 4, 5, 7. Add it up, you will get 9, 9, 9, 9, right? And this is greater than 9,779. Now for all these questions, your answer can be different because there is no fixed answer for this, okay? You can have different numbers, different digits. Now digits, here we got is 7, 5, 4 and 2. 7, 5, 4 and D. The sum of the largest and smallest numbers 
less than 9779. So now when we add the sum should be less than this number 5, 3, 2, 1 and the smallest will be 1, 2, 3, 5. Add it up. 5 plus 1, 6, 5, 5, 6. 6,556 is less than 9,779. Right? So the digits are 5, 3, 2, 1. Again, the numbers can be different. The digits can be different. Okay? Moving on to question number 2. What is the sum of the smallest and largest 5 digit palindrome? What is their difference? So first we need to find the smallest 5 digit palindrome, the largest 5 digit palindrome and then the sum that means add it up and difference subtract it. Okay? So the smallest 5 digit palindrome. You should know what is a palindrome. Palindrome is a number which reads the same from left to right and right to left. For example, 131. So 131 and from here also 131. Right? So these are palindromes. Now for the 5 digit, the smallest 5 digit number is 10000. But this is not a palindrome. However, if I change this digit to 1, like 10001, this would become a palindrome. 10001. Now for the largest one, the largest 5 digit number is 99999 from left to right. Now right to left, 99999. Nine, nine, nine. So it's a palindrome. Okay, we don't need to do here anything. So let's write this. Smallest 5 digit palindrome is 10001, that is 10001, and 99999. Okay, now we will find the sum, that means we need to add. So 10001 plus 99999. 9 plus 110 carry over 10 carry over 10 carry over 10 9 10 11. So the sum is 1,10,000 and for the difference, so we write the big number first 99999 minus one zero 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 one nine minus one eight nine 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 eight so this is the sum and this is the difference okay these are your answers moving on to question number three the time now is 1001 how many minutes until the clock shows the next palindromic time what about the one after that? So the time given here is 10.01 which is a palindromic time. Because if I read from here it's 1001 and here also 1001. Right? So that's a palindromic time. The next palindromic time after 10.01 would be 11.11. 11. See? 1111111. And the next one that is one after that would be 121. 2, 1, that is 12, 21. 1, 2, 2, 1. Okay. The question is, how many minutes until the clock shows the next palindromic time? So now here we need to find out the time gap between 10, 0, 1 and 11, 11. How much is the time between these two times? So we can do it in two different ways using mental math or calculation. First, I'll show you the calculation. You can do 11, 11. This is hour and this is minute. Okay. R column, minute column. So 11, 11 minus 10, 0, 1. 1 minus 1, 0. 1, 1, 0. So that means 1 hour, 10 minutes. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So 60 minutes plus 10 minutes is equal to 70 minutes. So the answer will be 70 minutes. We can also find this using mental math. How? 10, 0, 1. And 11, 11. Okay. So now from 10, 01 to 11, 01. Okay. 10, 01 to 11, 01 would be 60 minutes. This would be 60 minutes because this is 1 hour. And from 11, 01 to 11, 11 will be 10 minutes. So 60 plus 10 equals to 70 
minutes. So we can write the answer as the next palindromic time after 10.01 is 11.11 which is 70 minutes after 10.01. The next part is what about the one after that? That is the difference between 11.11 and 12.21. Same way you can do hour minutes or you can do using mental math. So 11.11 11 to 12.11. This is going to be 60 minutes, 1 hour, right? 60 minutes and from 12.11 to 12.21. See 11.21. So that is again 10 minutes. So this is also 60 plus 10, 70 minutes. Okay. For the first one also we got the answer as 70 minutes. For the second one also 70 minutes. And if you want you can do it like this also. You can write 12.21 minus 11.11 and you can get the answer. This is the last question of this figure it out. How many rounds does the number 5683 take to reach the Capricor constant? We know the Capricor constant is 6174. This we have read before. Right? So we are given this number and we need to find out in how many steps, in how many rounds do we get this number. So the rule is we make the largest number out of this which is 8653 and then the smallest number which is 3568 and then subtract. Okay, we are going to subtract this. When I subtract this, I would get 5805. You can do borrowing and you can do it. Like this will be 13, 4, 14, 5. So 5085. Now this is my first round. Now second round I will take this number and form the largest number out of this. So that would be 8550. The smallest number would be 0558. Be careful here. We are not making a four digit smallest number. We are just making the smallest number. If you observe here 558 is not a four digit number. It is a three digit number. But then the rule is that we form the smallest number okay not the smallest four digit just the smallest number so this number can be a three digit number two digit number one digit number or four digit number okay but this one has to be a four digit number all the digits should be there you need to write a zero to make it a four digit but if you actually see the value of this it is 558 okay now when we subtract this you will get 7992 i have done the subtraction before so i'm giving you the answer now okay the largest number is 9972 using this and the smallest number is 2799. When we subtract, we would get 12 minus 9 is 3, this is 6, so this is 8, 16, 16 minus 9, 7, 8 minus 7, 1, 9 minus 2, 7, 7, 1, 7, 3. So this is round 2, round 3. Now we will take this number from the largest and smallest number. So that is 7713. Sorry, 7731. This should be 7731 minus 1377. And this would give me 4536. 6354. Take this number from the largest number. 6543. Smallest number is 3, 4, 5, 6. When we subtract, we will get 7, 8, 0, 3. 3087. Take this number from the largest number now. So that is 8, 7, 3, 0 minus 0, 3, 7, 8. 0, 3, 7, 8. Subtract. 10, 2, 10 minus 8, 2, here 6, 12, 12 minus 7, 5, 3, 8, 8, 3, 5, 2. So this is round 4, 5, 6. Still we need to do till we get 6174. So now 8352, largest number would be 8, 5, 3, 2, Smallest number 2, 3, 5, 8 and when we subtract this 2, 2, 8, 
12 minus 8, 4, 4, 12, 12 minus 5, 7, 4 minus 3, 1, 8 minus 2, 6. See here, we got the cup breaker constant. After 7 rounds, this is the cup breaker constant. Okay? So, you will write the answer as, therefore, the number 5683 takes 7 rounds to reach the cup breaker constant. Okay? That is the final conclusion. And these are 7 rounds. I have shown you the subtraction here. Hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.